टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज टॉमलिनसन सर्फेस मीटर अगेन टॉमलिनसन सर्फेस मीटर इज ए कॉन्टैक्ट टाइप इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू मेजर द सर्फेस फिनिश ऑफ अ वर्क पीस ओके द प्रीवियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दैट इज आवर स्टाइलस प्रोब इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉज ऑल्सो ए कॉन्टैक्ट टाइप इंस्ट्रूमेंट and this tomlinson's instrument is also one of the instruments of contact type okay using this instruments we can find out the surface finish of the work piece let's move towards the construction of the tomlinson surface meter so in the diagram you can see there are two parts okay the first part of diagram is this and second part of diagram is this actually second part is the top view of the first part especially this arrangement is shown in this diagram okay so this stylus is nothing but here you can see so this is the stylus then the pink colored portion is nothing but our lapped cylinder and these two are the fixed rollers and when seeing from the side of the screen you can see two overlapping cylinders so that's why you can see a single cylinder in the projection okay and this arm you can see over here so this is placed in this fashion so that while seeing from the top side you can see this arrangement okay now let's move towards the construction so this this is the stylus so the yellowish portion is nothing but vertical cylinder is our stylus and at the bottom of this stylus you can see one triangular portion is there and that triangular portion is known as the diamond probe okay as the surface of work piece is very rough so to in order to get the proper readings and in order to not wear out the stylus so diamond is provided so that it will get the correct readings and diamonds have sharp corners or sharp edges so that we can easily get what is Uh, the exact situation or what is exact roughness of the work piece is there okay so now you can see a stylus is there then in contact with the stylus you can see this portion the faint yellowish uh, sorry faint pink color portion is there and that's portion it is known as the lapped cylinder okay the lap cylinder is connected with over here you can see so this is the lap cylinder and the lap cylinder is attached with this arm and at the tip of the arm you can see a diamond tip again okay again a diamond is there at the end of this arm okay and this diamond tip is installed in order to record the up and downs on the smoked glass okay so this is a smoked glass over here you can see a circular portion is there and that circular portion is called as a smoked glass okay on that smoked glass we can see the profile of the surface finish which is on the work piece so this is our work piece brown colored portion is our work piece okay now this stylus is connected with two springs so first is the leaf spring over here you can see the bluish colored part or a small plate is there so this strip is nothing but the leaf spring and this is the normal spring our normal spring is there and it is connected to the body of the uh, this tomlinson surface meter so this square is nothing but the body of the tomlinson's surface meter okay <clears throat> now 
now you can see this stylus is only allowed to move in the vertical direction so this is the vertical direction of the body so if some irregularities are there on the workpiece so what will happen the stylus will move only in the vertical direction okay and the body of this surface meter is allowed to move in the horizontal direction okay when we record some uh, surface finish of this workpiece so we will have to move this complete instrument in horizontal direction okay and because of that horizontal direction what will happen the diamond probe it will trace the workpiece surface correct and while tracing the workpiece surface it will move in the up and down motion correct so the stylus is allowed only to reciprocate or only to move into the vertical direction okay and the body of this surface meter is allowed to move into horizontal direction only okay now you can see if the stylus is moving or if it is moving into the vertical direction then what will happen so the stylus is connected or it is uh, in contact with this lapped cylinder over here the cylinder is there the cylinder is horizontal so in the top view you can see so this is the cylindrical portion and it is in contact with the stylus okay again this same cylinder is contact with the these two fixed rollers okay because of that what will happen now this stylus this lapped cylinder and these are the two fixed cylinders are complete contact with each other okay and this contact is possible or the close contact is possible because of this spring okay and because of this leaf spring the leaf spring will only reciprocate or it will only oscillate in this direction okay if we uh, draw or if we uh, <clears throat> take the motion of the this uh, recip uh, leaf spring then this leaf spring is fixed at this point and it is allowed to oscillate in the at the end of this stylus okay so because of that what will happen because of these two springs what will happen so that stylus then this lapped cylinder and these are the two fixed cylinders or rollers are in close contact with each other okay then as soon as the workpiece or the stylus moves on the workpiece then what will happen so the stylus will have only vertical motion that vertical motion it is given to this lapped cylinder okay and this lapped cylinder will again transform this motion with the help of this arm to the this a diamond tip and this diamond tip will record or that diamond tip will inscribe some up and downs on the smoked glass okay and <clears throat> if we talk about the magnitude or if we talk about the magnification of this oh uh, uh, surface irregularity so it is from 50 times to 100 times okay so you can see the uh, very small very small irregularities on the surface of a metal with the help of this surface meters okay very small surface irregularities that cannot be seen by the naked eyes can be interpreted or can be seen on this smoked glass okay so this is a very basic and a very useful instrument that is the tomlinson surface meter okay <clears throat> so the tensile forces of the springs will allow this lapped cylinder to transform the vertical motion of this stylus into the horizontal and oscillatory motion of the arm 
and the arm will interpret some signals on the uh, on the smoked uh, smoked glass okay and with the help of this instrument we can find out the uh, what is exact situation or what is exact position of surface finish at the uh, metal surface okay so this is about the diagram now the construction of the tomlinson surface meter so in the construction already i have explained the diamond stylus on the surface finish recorded is held by the spring pressure against the surface of the lapped steel cylinder okay the lapped cylinder is made up of steel then the stylus is also attached to the body of the instrument by the leaf spring okay what is the function of leaf spring so the function of leaf spring to is to attach the stylus with the body and to record the vertical motion of the stylus okay and its height is adjusted to enable the diamond to be positioned conveniently okay the next point the lapped cylinder is supported on one side of the stylus and on the other side of the stylus two fixed cylinders are there okay actually this uh, second part of this diagram or the top view of the diagram is our figure number 2 okay so this is our figure number 1 this is figure number 2 okay <clears throat> then the stylus is restrained from all motions except the vertical one by the tensions in the coil and leaf spring okay so this is about the construction so again the next point the tensile force in these two springs also keep the lapped cylinder in position between the stylus and pair of fixed rollers okay and the light spring arm is attached to the horizontal lapped uh, lapped steel cylinder and it carries its tip carries a diamond scriber already i have told that diamond scriber is there and which bears or which uh, records the situation or which records the uh, waviness of the surface finish of the uh, metal plate on the smoked glass okay so this is about the construction of the tomlinson surface meter now we will move towards the working so vertical movement of the stylus caused by the surface in irregularities causes the horizontal lapped cylinder to roll by its rolling the light arm attached to it in provides the magnified movement on the smoked glass plate and the smoked glass trace is then further projected at 5 50 times to 100 times okay magnification for examination so this instrument is comparatively cheap and gives reliable results okay so this is about our tomlinson surface meter thank you very much for for watching this video if you have any doubts you can ask me into the comment box stay tuned for the next coming videos on the taylor hobson uh, tally surf meter